with my tab tool, I'm going to click and hold on the ellipse to get the rectangle tool or hit the letter M. Click and drag a rectangle. Change the color. I'm just going to make a red. Now with the arrow tool, I'm going to command X is cut. I need to select the text that I want it to go behind and command B as in boy is cut and paste behind. So now I can do the same thing and I can copy and paste this. I'm going to make this go over. Now in this case, if I take the fill out and I'm going to stroke it red so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take with the white arrow, which is the letter A, just grab that, hold the shift key up. And then with the pen tool, if I click and hold on that, um, actually, no, I need to, oh, if I just go over it, see that little minus? That's going to delete that point. And look at that. So if I hit the I, which is the eyedrop tool, and now with the solid arrow, command X is cut. Select the letters, command B is in boy is paste behind. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to start over here and just draw that letter there. With the pen tool, deselect. With the white arrow tool, deselect so I can select that. Hold the shift key and drag. Select that, command X is cut. Select color, command B, paste behind. Oh, sorry. You get the gist. Now, once I'm done, I'm going to do this quick, command X, oops, command B, actually another trick I can show you, if I grab this, oh, I'm going to hide that, I'm going to grab that one, if I hold the option key down, I'll bring that one back. Now I can, um, R is rotate, 90 degrees, command, okay, or I can just do 180. There we go. And that's already behind the words or the letters. And one more. Let's grab this one, I think. Command 3 is hide. I'm going to hit the option key to copy that. Shit, or option command 3 will bring that back. So color came back. And this I can command X is cut. Select texture. Command P, B paste behind. And then I could do that one. So at this point, you're done copying this. Obviously, we could play with colors. If I want, let's say I wanted this color to match that. I'm going to zoom in and show you a trick if some of you don't know this. Click I for the eyedrop tool, which is that. And selecting my art while that color is selected. And it's going to pick up exactly that color. Um, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete all this stuff. Now, I do have... Still, remember I said to copy and paste the letter P before you outlined all the letters. So I still have my font the right size that I needed it. Now I'm going to personalize this based on the 50 things I love. So first I'm going to do my name, which is I'm just going to start with Z-I-E. So oops. So I'm going to make this, oh my goodness, the letter Z. And I'll make this I, E, L, I, whatever. Then I want to do some words. Now, I already changed all these words before um, I mess with them. This I want to option. This would be I. This would be E. L is the same, so I'm just going to leave that there. And then another I. So I'm just if I hold the option key, I can click and drag and copy it. So at least I have Z-I-E-L-I. Um, then what did I do? I already did this here, so I'm just going to show you. I did the best of. And I tried to find words that were similar in size. So dance, teaching, no sleeping. I'm Italian, Hungarian, life. I just put because I needed it to be longer. Let's go rock climbing now, exclamation point for that long area. Running, Chazar is my maiden name. I'm a mother. I'm silly. I love to paint. Anyway. So these are some of the words from my 50 things I love. And then I'm going to object, unlock all. Move that. I actually don't need that anymore. Command A is select all. R is the rotate tool. Return. I'm going to go 45 degrees. Remember we did that in the beginning. And voila, there's my poster. Now I'm going to play with color. So I'm going to delete this background. M is my rectangle tool. Click and drag. 
I'm going to draw a box behind there. Oops. Hold on a second. Let's do that again. Click and drag. Now, I think I like this really dark purpley. Command X is cut. Command B is paste behind. Notice my no sleeping is really skinny, so I'm going to make that stroke bigger. Let's go back to my stroke weight. Let's make that 10. Um, a little bit bigger. Oh. Anyway, after I'm done, I'm going to play with my color and do that. Notice the difference between this one here and this one here. First of all, I cleaned up. I deleted the poster in the background. Um, and notice my Z and my I expands off the page. That's where I want you to play with some design. You don't have to. You can delete some of this stuff like these little shapes behind there if you don't like them. I'm not totally loving it, but you know, you can keep it if you want. But play with different color schemes. Make sure that the words are easy to read. And this is it. 